I'm a growth marketer in Silicon Valley, and this is my vlog. Squaw! Merry Squaw, miss, or Merry Christmas, rather. It's Christmas today. Uh, it is Christmas, and I have decided uh, that I will be doing a lot more content this year. 2017 is going to be the year. That's the one. Content that I'm going to be doing, part of it, uh, will be this vlog, the Friday vlog. The reason why I decided to do this, and I kind of crowdsourced some opinions, I asked people who followed me, what do you want to see? And I thought that vlogging would be the best one. Honestly, it's just for me. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to be able to have like a video journal, essentially, of my journey. So this is super selfish. <laughs> um, I get to see myself in these stages. I, I'm sure I'll look back on this many, many years from now, this exact moment, which is uh, kind of crazy to think about at this very moment. But I'll be able to look back at my journey, uh, see what I've learned and what's not. Um, also, the format of this is going to be essentially a review for myself, a recap on what I'm doing wrong. Of course, you're going to see what I'm doing in day-to-day -day life. But for me, the exercise I'm going to be doing is seeing what I'm doing wrong as I am uh, going forth in my career. So this is the big question, though. Who is John Fry? Who the hell is this guy? I'm John Fry. I came to California when I was 17, and I thought I was going to be a Silicon Valley tech entrepreneur. Oh, boy. Oh, joy. Uh, I came out here. I didn't really know specifically what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur and have someone give me a lot of money and work in beanbags. I was wrong! I ran out of money, and I didn't really know what to do. Uh, my credit card was maxed out. I just got, you know, I just got a text. I'm sorry about that. So I had, you know, no money, and the credit card was uh, to the max. This thing that I applied for called uh, Startup U, which little did I know at the time would be on ABC Family, uh, I got accepted. So that was cool. And out of that, I launched a startup that would become granted. It was like AngelList for nonprofits. It let nonprofits raise funds directly from the foundations that have billions of dollars. And I thought I could do it more efficiently. Uh, but I was also a 19 year old who had literally never done anything in the nonprofit space. I shut that down after a year. And so I was back in my hometown. I was like, do I go to college? Do I like, what do I do? And then around February, I got hired at offers.com and they asked, what do you like to do? And I was like, uh, I guess marketing. And I did a great job with them. It was awesome. And then during that, I got a call from Derek, who runs Startup Grind. I had met him about two and a half years prior when I first moved. Remember when I was 17 that I mentioned earlier? Uh, he gave me a call and said, do you want to work for me? And I was like, sure. So I've been working for them ever since. I recently got put into the marketing uh, side of things for our conference. You know what? I'll just lay my first recap on you. This is just this is just the learning growth phase for me right now with this with this thing with this marketing for this for this conference. I think about it every night when I go to bed, and I think about it every day I wake up, and I think about it in the shower, and I think about all the things that I should be delivering that aren't delivered yet, and how I'm letting down Derek, and it sucks. It's not great. Um, but in perspective, everything is fantastic. Life is amazing for me. Um, so A, I just have a better perspective. And B, it's just the hard part, and I'm, I'm just going to figure it out. Like, this is something you'll learn as you watch these. I understand that things, at the end of the day, are always going to be fantastic. So why don't I share that with you guys? Share the story, which I haven't done before. That's why I'm doing this. I want to not just share the tactics, what I'm learning right now. This is the place to learn from my story and to follow my story. Uh, but I've obviously, like, I have so much room to grow. I'm sure my 40-year-old self is laughing at this right now because there's just so many things I have yet to learn. One thing uh, Derek, the CEO, my CEO, uh, said to me recently was, if you knew what was going to happen at the end, would you have done it the same way? Would you have reacted to the negative things? Would you have felt defeated when things didn't go your way, even though in the end, it still turned out amazingly? First Friday vlog 
in the books. This is me. This is it. Peace out. Signing off.